You see, the real problem as an artist nowadays is that let's say I just created those three beautiful pieces that were collected by some individuals and I just sent them those pieces. The moment I send them the art piece, I have no way of knowing where it goes. Was it duplicated? Was it sold? Was it transferred to a friend? Did they expose it in a gallery? Is it publicly available for people to see? I have no clue as an artist of knowing, which also means I don't know how big my community of collectors is and what is my secondary market value. Now, imagine when I created that piece, there was a way, there was an invisible link between myself and that piece that say, this is one of one. There's only one unique piece, or maybe there's two, and this is the one. And that invisible link would allow me forever to see who owns that piece of work, how it's being used, was it transferred to a friend? Was it resold? Was it exposed in a gallery? Is it publicly available? And most importantly, what if I was able to tap into secondary market and actually get royalties every time my art would get resold? Meaning not only the person who is flipping my art is making a profit, but also myself as an artist, which is something a lot of people don't think about, but is very important. And last but not least, what if it was also allowing to create a community of collectors publicly available and that everyone could enjoy the art in its own way. Now, what I'm describing here sounds a little bit like an utopia, but this is actually simply put how NFT for art works. Wow, what a crazy topic it is. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new episode. Today, we've got something ultra special to talk about NFTs. I'm actually dropping my own photography collection to show you how it works, how I did it, what it means for me. I'm going to be holding a live for the launch in which you're going to be able to ask all the questions that you want regarding not only the collection, but the world of NFTs. What does it mean as artists? What does it mean for photography? How does it work? How do you create one? What are the drawbacks? What are the problems? I think it's going to be great. So make sure you tune in the live. And if you're watching this later, maybe you can watch the replay. I've heard of NFTs the first time 2016, and it was for insurance. It was around land owning. It was very interesting how it was put together. I remember thinking, there's so many possibilities. And then it came back on my radar in February and I was like, wow, the space is going to blow up. I need to understand it better for art. I didn't expect art actually to blow it up. I thought insurance and loans and land titles would actually use that first, but art out of all the things, and you've seen the headlines, someone sold $69 million worth of art, or etc. And people are confused. They're like, wait, what is that? Is it just digital art? It has no value, etc. If you're in that category, just remember that everything we see around it only has value because we as a society give it value to. So if there's a group of people big enough that think this is valuable, this will be valuable and we, the market will decide how much it should be traded for. It doesn't matter whether it's Pokemon cards, physical ones, baseball cards, or whether it's crypto cats, poor ape, crypto punks, photos of twins, so many different things are possible. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my project and why I launched it. As a YouTuber with you guys, as a photographer, as a creator, I've been creating my art digitally with you for years, right? We've been together in the street. We were everywhere around the world. We created those photos together. I was sharing the process. I was sharing the results. I never actually jumped to the next step, which was sharing the art itself, you know, not just in a BTS video, not in a tutorial video. I've always wanted to do that. I was never in a space with a gallery or with agents, etc., to actually get on that space. And I felt I was more interested in the aspect of sharing what I'm creating versus working on just the art and trying to get into that very specific space. I thought it wasn't the space for me. You know, it was, it felt old school. I didn't want to be there. When NFTs came and when I understood what it meant for photographers, I was like an artist in general. I was like, this is amazing. I'm going to be able to share my art with you guys, allow you to collect some of the art we created together in a digital form. And now I've seen that recently there is virtual galleries 
where you guys can see for each other what art you collected, right? So if you're on Twitter, you can go to at Pietty Lambert and you can search tags and maybe someone tagged me in one of their gallery and you're gonna click the link and you're gonna walk around in the virtual gallery and look around, that's amazing. Now, back to what I created in the collection. The collection is called Crossroads 1.0. Why Crossroads? Because I felt that we more and more live in two worlds. As I was traveling around the world, taking those photos, the street photos, even in Chicago, whether it's in Japan, in Chicago, New York, wherever it was, I noticed that people were living in the physical world, but more and more their heads was in that virtual world, right? We are on our phone constantly, we're looking at things, we're listening, we're more interested in how people think about us on Instagram and in real life sometimes. And I was like, this is a big shift. And personally, as an artist, embracing the digital world, I was like, let's go and let's give a wink. Let's salute that entry in that digital world and let's portray that change that's happening, not only for my work, but also for people around this planet. And the best way I found was to take my best street photography with people in them, you know, like those photos that I dearly love that we've shot together and actually take those faces of people and use it and digitalize them, make them feel like they're digital and virtual, meaning I actually rough pixelated those faces, made them a little bigger, and this is a collection of 36 of my best images, street photography-wise, with people doing that. And I really wanted to share that shift. The world is changing around us. We are changing, and I wanted that to come through in my work, in my digital form. So I hope you will love it. This is a short video. Tomorrow we have a long live. You can ask any question about the blockchain, how I did it, how I minted it, what was the difficulties, etc. Just remember that things are changing around us, whether we like them or not. Sometimes I have friction. I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Why is it changing? It doesn't matter whether we like it or not. The fact is that things are changing and you can criticize them or you can go embrace them and actually work with it to go in the direction that you want. Be the change you want to see in the world. You've heard that saying. This new era is basically a new era in which artists can thrive with their collectors. We live with our art. We're not separate anymore. Suddenly I'm able to know if my art has been resold, where it went, and I'm able to actually get value out of it through its lifetime. And myself, I'm growing with it. I'm growing with you as a collector. We're growing together. It's gonna be very interesting to see the space change. It's a way for us as individuals to actually invest in artists and really uh, say, I love what this guy is doing. I love what this girl is doing. I want her work to go further and I want to collect some of her work. It's, it's a beautiful cycle uh, that is not going to stop. It's just the beginning. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow at the live. Come with your questions and check out the collection if it's already out. Thank you if you are a collector. And if you're a longtime viewer, thank you even more. I would not be here without you. I wouldn't be sharing those adventures. And yeah, I'm planning to do a lot more and also always bringing you guys value. So I'll see you in the next episode. See you soon. Bye. Much love.